Today we're going to go over how to solve equations that require two steps. Then you'll have a chance to practice. Here's our first equation. 3 times x plus 4 equals 19. Well here, we realize we need to cancel both of the 3 times and the plus 4. You might wonder, which one of these should I cancel first? Well to answer this, we need to understand what 3 times x really means. Well, 3 times x is really saying that in this equation there's 3x's, x plus x plus x. So rather than worry about splitting up the x's right now, let's ignore them. We're going to start with the plus 4. When you have multiple steps in an equation, always start by canceling addition or subtraction. We'll cancel the plus 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides. If we solve this out, plus 4 and minus 4 cancel out. And so on the left, we have 3 times x. On the other side, we have 19 minus 4. What does that equal? Well, 19 minus 4 is 15. Now all we have to do is another step. We have to cancel the 3 times. Well, you learned that we can cancel multiplication with division. We'll divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels out. Now we have just our x. And on the other side of the equation, 15 divided by 3 will give us our answer what does 15 divided by 3 equal? Well, 15 divided by 3 gives us our answer of 5. Let's look at another problem. Let's look at the equation 5 minus x equals 7. This looks simple, but the issue is that we have a negative x. We want to solve for what positive x is, so it's not so simple as just getting rid of the 5. In fact, what we want to do first here is actually cancel out all of the negative x. We'll do that by adding x to both sides, because when we solve that, minus x and plus x cancel out. We're left with just the 5. On the other side of the equation, now we have 7 plus x. Do you notice what happened? Now we have a positive x. Now we have what we're trying to solve for. The next thing we'll need to do is cancel out the 7. We can do that by subtracting 7 from both sides. When we solve this part of the equation, 7 minus 7 cancels out, and so we're left with just x. On the left side of the equation, 5 minus 7 gives us what? Well, 5 minus 7 gives us negative 2, and so our answer is that negative 2 is equal to x. Let's solve one of these together. Let's look at the equation 4 times x minus 5 equals 16. Well, this equation has two pieces. We're going to have to cancel the 4 times and the minus 5. Which one should we cancel first? Well, remember that multiplication sticks with the x, so we're going to save that to later. The first thing to cancel is the minus 5. We can cancel the minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides. When you solve this step of the equation, what do you get? Well, the minus 5 plus 5 cancels out, so on the left we'll just have 4 times x. On the other side of the equation, 16 plus 5 gives us 21. Now we need to cancel out the 4 times. How do we cancel 4 times? Well, we cancel multiplication by dividing, so we'll divide by 4. That'll cancel out, leaving us with just x. On the other side of the equation, we'll have 21 divided by 4. But 21 divided by 4 doesn't give us a clean answer, so we can just leave it as a fraction and say x is equal to 21 fourths. Now it's time for you to try solving some problems on your own. Solve the equation 4 minus x equals 10. What does x equal? Well, this was a tricky problem where we were given a negative x. So what you had to do first was cancel that out. We could add x to both sides. Because when you solve this, minus x and plus x cancel out, leaving you with just 4. And that'll equal 10 plus x. Now we have the positive x that we're looking for. All that's left is canceling out the 10, which we can do by subtracting 10 from both sides. If you solve this, 10 minus 10 goes away, and you're left with just x. On the left side, 4 minus 10 gives you negative 6. So you could say negative 6 equals x. Now here's your last problem for today. 3 times x plus 8 equals 2. What does x equal? Well, remember that we always start by canceling addition or subtraction, so we'll start by removing the plus 8. We can do that by subtracting 8 from both sides. When you solve this, 
the plus 8 and minus 8 cancel out. You're left with 3 times x. On the other side, 2 minus 8 gives you negative 6. Now all that's left is canceling out the 3 times. Well, we'll cancel multiplication by dividing by 3. 3 divided by 3 cancels out, so you're left with x. And on the other side of the equation, we'll take negative 6 and divide by 3. Remember that a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so our answer, negative 6 divided by 3, will just be negative 2. So from today, make sure you remember to always cancel addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. And also make sure that when you solve for x, you're solving for positive x.